What is up, party people? MTG next door. We are going fast and furious through this box. And so uh, last video was like 20 minutes long or better. Uh, we got some interesting polls. Uh, um, I did not look at the results to the uh, box value. I don't know if we hit the one-fifth mark or whatever. How many of these hit a six? So it's uh, 30 packs. So I do usually five of these videos. Um, well, wait a minute. Isn't this the first card? <laughs> yes, this is. We got the sign for here. Here's the last video's cards. Where's first pack? Yeah, there it is. Look, so there it is. Man, the sorting on this. So we got the signed version of the first pack we opened last time, this time. The duplication is running wild here, folks. Uh, it's really, really weird in this one. So there it is. <clears throat> signed mayor card. There it is. Oy. Uh, oh, we got a foil in the slot. I didn't know you can get a foil in the slot. So foil in the um, tap land slot. <clears throat> Volcanic spite. Look at that. That's some spite there. <clears throat> that volcano did not like that ship flying that fast. Uh, I didn't know they could do that. Wildwood Escort. Well, that does not look like any kind of escort I would pick up. I'm telling you this. I drive by and she's on the side of the road with a wolf that side between her legs. Nope. I don't think so. As Doc would say, you walk it or work it. <laughs> uh, I'm walking away from that escort. So, no thank you. Uh, bully rider. So, see her? Maybe. I think I could take that goat. Um, but then again, you know, it's iffy what that thing is under there. Oh, good Lord. Uh, what is she holding? I don't understand. Oh, it's a halberd. Okay, it's an equipment card. Never mind. Okay, we're right into the Uncommons Elvish Vat Keeper. Uh, so every single card in this entire set does Incubate 2 and Convoke. So reading these there, see, look, Incubate 2. See, I'm not lying. Uh, except these, which you're paying, uh, I think we already saw this one. You're paying 10 to get, what was this, what, a 5-5 five, five or something? Yeah, you get a 5-5 five, five for 10. Yeah, that's worth it. Ugh. Build in the value, wizards. Uh, we got a mom card here. So I uh, got a mom invasion of Vryn, another place I've never heard of. Uh, ETB, draw three cards, then discard a card. And then what do you got to shoot it four times for? Uh, for an artifact. Okay. And then sack it and you copy target spell you control. Uh, maybe. Maybe. That might be worth it. Uh, oh, here's our mole card. It's mole number two. Didn't we get mole number two already? I think we got mole number two last last uh, video. So Daxos again, massive duplication so far. I think this is the third duplicate in seven packs. So uh, we got a mom, and it looks like it's extended art mom. Uh, it's a mythic. It's a planeswalker. It's a Vryn and <laughs> good God, I'm not even kidding you. I got them right here. I haven't even sorted them yet. Where are you? Where are you? There it is. Look. There it is. Got them both. Collect the whole set, everyone. <laughs> uh, uh, this is crazy. What is going on here? I think, where's the wrapper? Are these English packs? Yeah, th yeah, these are English packs. Oh my God. I'm not reading, uh, well, it was a whole video ago. Uh, Ren and Realm Breaker. I, I decided this is a graveyard recursion card. Look at the art on that. Not bad. Uh, so land you control, have tap, add one man of any color. <clears throat> one land becomes a 3-3 three, three elemental with vigilance, hex, proof, and haste. And then uh, mill three cards, put a permanent card from among the mill cards in your hand. And then you get an emblem with you. You may play any lands and cast permanent spells out of your graveyard. Boy, uh, value on the full art Ren and Realm Breaker. Man, this is like, for the last few boxes, I've been pulling those goddamn Phyrexian language cards that I can't play because I don't know what they do. And I'm not looking them up. Uh, I got another mole card here. Or, no, this is our first mole. It's a foil? Yeah, it's a foil. Uh, Zadra, Hedron Grinder. Uh, this was pretty sweet back in the day. Uh, is this foil? I can't even tell. Yeah, I, okay. This is one of those etched foils, I think. It's barely foil. Barely foil. It's, yeah, I think it's etched. Uh, I'm not going to stop the video for the value because the last video went way too long. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I'm having I'm having fun opening these. It's just they're so. At this point, I don't think Wizards knows what it wants its uh, standard sets to be. Uh, there you go, ball of fire. Uh, no, it's got a head, so it's got to be some kind of fire dragon shit. Stoke the flames. All right, so do I now. Uh, a 
Uh, Rare is a mom card. Uh, is this foil? No, it's just weird. Uh, Omnath, Locus of All. So Omnaths are usually pretty good. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and for what for whatever reason, they threw a Phyrexian Mana symbol into his Wooboard cost. So whatever. Let's read it. 4-4. Four, four. If you lose unspent mana, that mana becomes black instead. Huh? If you would lose unspent mana, that mana becomes black instead. Do you still keep the mana? I don't know. Read on. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card if it has three or more colored mana symbols in its mana cost. If you do, add three mana of any combination to its colors and put it into your hand. If you don't reveal it, put it in your hand. What happens up here, though? I don't get it. If you would lose unspent mana, that... And you keep the... I don't know. How are you going to fucking track that? This is stupid. If any of you guys play this, I'm going to be mad immediately. So that means Mr. Pink is playing as soon as humanly possible because all he'd like to do is piss us off. Value it, Carl. Uh, we got an uncommon in foil, and I'm not reading you, Herbology Instructor, and we got a mom card. Oh, it's a, what used to be puzzle cards, but obviously they watched all of our videos and watched me mock them mercilessly for making those stupid puzzle cards. Oy. Here we go. Keep on trucking. Trying to get through a quarter. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I had to stop. I had to take my very remarkably cool new glasses off. I, I, I mean, if you just tuned in, there it is. Two of the same sign cards, two packs of cart. Unbelievable. <clears throat> uh, our rare is number 76. It's a mock. Liliana's talent. What is your talent, Liliana? Wait, this. What is this? What is going on here? What is this set symbol? It's a mock. Oh, it's a mock. Oh, it's the commander cards. Okay, these are the commander cards. Got it. Uh, anything that ends a C is usually commander. They're going to run out of letter combinations here, right? I mean, eventually, by, you know, time of my death. Two black for an enchantment, enchant planeswalker. Uh, Enchanted Planeswalker has minus five. Oh, we're adding, or no, minus eight. We're adding loyalty abilities. Uh, put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Yeah, that's never happening. Whenever a creature, I, unless you're TB, TB can make that happen. <laughs> Whenever a creature deals combat damage to Enchanted Planeswalker, destroy that creature. Well, that's okay. Yeah, all right. You're gonna, interesting, Carl. Uh, that's got to have a, at least a nickel on it. Uh, and now we're in the mull. So this is what Pink was saying. So Pink was saying there's the moms, the mocks, the mulls, and the list. So there's four different sets occurring in these packs. Oy vey. Uh, our rare mull is who? SRAM Senior Edificer. One or white for a 2-2 dwarf advisor. Whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle spell, draw a card. There you go. So one of us has played SRAM at some point, right? Value? Don't know. We got another rare. It's a rare mole. Another rare mole. How many rares are getting to be in this pack? Another rare mole. It is Luri the Spell Chaser. Look at the art on that. It is full bleed artwork on this very strange elemental otter. Uh, companion, don't understand it. Uh, flash, when Lutri enters the battlefield, if you cast it, copy target insert sorcery spell, spell you control, and then you must choose new targets for the copy. Wow. Okay. And so this is the Saturday morning cartoons version of this card. Look at Alice Norn over there. Looks like he's, it looks like she's saying zoinks. <laughs> Value, 30 cents. I don't know. Uh, so another one. So the four rare pack. Uh, Pink's right. Rares aren't rares anymore. Hilliard, the Radiant Dawn. Uh, so this one's a turn them, turn them over card. So did we get a list on this one? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe it's a five rare pack. Two white, white for a 4 4 and legendary enchantment creature, God. Um, Ray, when someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes. <laughs> uh, when there's the battlefield, return target enchantment card that isn't a god from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so what are we paying here to turn this fucker over? Uh, we're paying four, five, six, we're paying eight to get whatever this is on the butt. 
Uh, a 4-6 uh, legendary Phyrexian god. You may cast spells as though they had flash. Spells you cast cost one less to cast for each card your opponents have drawn this turn. Nope, never happening. Show me the quarter. <laughs> oh, that is a rotten one. Nope, so the common is not... That is a four rare pack. Isn't that something like one in 70 packs? Well, it used to be. I, You know, honestly, I just want to know what the chances of me getting two of the same stamp were. I think these are 10% of packs, 81 of them. So you're going to get three of these in every box. So the percentage is going up of getting the same stamped card, but that's just ridiculous, man. Just crazy. <clears throat> I see what Pink is, was saying, though. The value in these is basically not in the rare slot. It's in... I mean, you, you're, these are collection builders, right? <clears throat> these set boosters are, wow, that's awesome. Whatever you are, stay away. That is awesome. What card is that? I want it. O Oculus Whelp. I probably got it already. I just wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> that's a forest. There you go. That's a forest. Because there's one tree in the picture, that's a forest now. Uh, rare from Mom. Des Dejeru and Hazaret. <clears throat> Two red, red, uh, white for a 5 4 human god. As long as you have one or fewer cards in hand, it is vi has vigils in haste. When it attacks the top six cards of your library, you may exile. Uh, wait a minute, I lost my place here. Sorry, I was looking at the clock. <laughs> you may exile a legendary creature card from among them, put the rest in the bottom of your library in random order. Until end of turn, you may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. Uh, price it. I hope you're pricing all these. I know there's so many rares, Carl. I swear next year's salary will be two six packs of beer. Uh, we got a Tangled Skyline and no list card. We got a night. That's pretty. That's a nice night. Nice night. Nice night for a walk. Two packs left. In this batch, 06. We're trying to go a little bit faster here, but... <clears throat> Our mom is a mythic. What did we get? We got Chandra, Ho oh, I can't read it. Home's Beacon? Hope's Beacon. Who knows? It's a Planeswalker. There you go. Uh, are you going to be my next uh, Oathbreaker, darling? Four red, red for five. Whenever you cast an insert or sorcery spell, uh, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. This ability triggers only once each turn. It only needs to happen once each turn to make this the biggest asshole card you've ever heard of. Uh, I am making this... And I'm making a deck full of uh, lightning bolts. That's it. That's all I'm doing for Oathbreaker. Every single lightning bolt effect card I have, that's what I'm doing. Once a turn, you're taking six damage. And then I sit back and protect her with goblins. Uh, plus two, add two mana of any combination of colors. Eh, maybe. Okay, do I need to get to the minus X? Uh, what's the plus? Oh, it's plus two, plus one. Exile the top card of your library until the end of the turn. You may cast an instant or sorcery spell from among those exile cards. That's perfect. And I'm red. When I'm getting to six in red, I'm already out of cards, fucker. Uh, minus X. Chandra Hope's Beacon deals X damage to each of two target, to, uh, up to two targets. So your two opponents in Oathbreaker, right? Nobody realizes the value of this, Carl. Show me the five bucks so that we can move on and nobody... See, I'm losing focus again. I need to fix that. Uh, and then we got an uncommon mom and no list card. Incubator. All right. Last one. I mean, you've got two, or at least two mythics at this point. Two mythics. This is crazy. They're fun. Now, there we go. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, 12 packs. We've got three signed cards. One of them is a duplicate. Uh, stamped. I'm sorry. They're not really signed. They're stamped. If they were signed, they would be worth way more. Oh, look at that. That, that island's got a hole in it, too. I guess all the basics have holes in them. Our red is a mock. What did we get? Elspeth's talent. What's your talent, Elspeth? Oh, no. Okay, there's probably a talent in all these colors. Let me get another talent. Yeah, here's Lily's talent. There's Elspeth's talent. Let me tell you something. I know what Elspeth's talent is. And it ain't holding a spear. <laughs> Two white, white for an enchantment aura. Uh, Enchant Planeswalker. Enchanted Planeswalker has... Oh, so all these talents add uh, Planeswalker things, I guess. Okay, so these are going in all of our Oathbreaker decks now. 
Uh, Plane Toy Guard is plus one. Create three white, one one white soldier tokens. Okay, that's a great ability for any Planeswalker. That's an Elspeth ability right there, baby doll. Whenever you activate a loyalty ability of an enchanted Planeswalker creature, you control get two, two until, and gain vigilance until end of turn. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> like it. Uh, price it. These are going up in value. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we got a mull. Uh, so we got a mock and a mull in the same pack. So it's two rares. Uh, Ayara, first of the Lockthwain. Uh, she's messed up looking. That's all I got to say. It has nothing to do with this. Yeah, I'm fine with that. She's just messed up looking. Uh, three black for a two, three. Uh, when it uh, or another black creature enters the battlefield under control, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Well, that is something else, man. Man, I'm thinking, uh, God, what's that zombie thing that uh, uh, Docu likes to play where you create like 13 fucking zombies? That's the end of the game. Uh, sack a black creature, draw a card. I like it. Bryce, Carl, you're the best. I, I've, been, I've not been keeping on you. We got a Mythic Mom card. So this is a three rare pack. Wow, just show it. Thalia and the Gitrog Monster. Hmm, hmm. We got the... We're getting everything. That's all I'm saying. Uh, one white, black, green. First strike, death touch, 4-4, four, four, human, frog, koala, fish, bird, horror. Okay. Uh, you may play an additional land on each of your turns. Each of your turns. It's assuming you're out of blue and you're going to be taking extra turns somehow. Creatures and non-basic lands your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. That sucks. <laughs> Whenever this attacks, sacrifice a creature or land, then draw a card. I'm not attacking with this thing. Why would you? Just sit it out there and be an asshole. Uh, price it, baby. This has got to be one of the better mythics. It has to be. That plays all day. Uh, so three rare pack, and then we've got a furtive... Some, oh, we got a, we got a list card. Why not? Oh, and it's from one of the uh, training sets. What was it? Portal? What do we get? We got a portal wall of granite. Wall of Granite can't attack. Well, it's a wall, okay. Oh, no, it's just a creature. It's just it's just a creature, but it's an 07. Uh, there you go. All right. I forgot to do this last video, but uh, let's do it this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Six packs, 11 rares and mythics. Uh, last video, we got 23, or was it 16? No, it was something somewhere between 72 and 80 rares and mythics. Show it to us, Carl. All right, god damn, man, this is crazy. Also, goddamn COVID, uh, do the like and subscribe thing or don't, we don't care because we do this because it's fun for us. Um, but then buy some of these, this is crazy. If you're gonna build your collection, here's how you do it.